Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you're new here. My name is Death by Pony. Today we're finishing up. I'll do it tomorrow. So without further ado, let's go. It's mostly the waves. What's in here? Oh, mystery. Taxi. Taxi driver. Oh look, who decided to show up? You're late. Do you realize how long I've been waiting? I'm sorry. You better be. Man, I feel like a clown. Let's be honest. I don't get paid enough for this crap. Where do we go? Why is there a wall over there? Let Then let's get to the circus, clown. What kind of question is that? Are you dumb? It's the same destination as always. Anyway, let's not waste any more time. Shall we? Let's go. Ugh, I need to fill up the gas tank. Hey, don't give me that look. Even a professional can make mistakes, you know? Come on, follow me. We're going to use this door to find gas station. <gasps> door unlocked. Eh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. There must be a mistake. We are above the gas station? We can't reach the ground from here. We're stuck. If this is a prank, I'm going to kick their butts. Can't we just jump down? We can scream until they hear us. You notice the giant legs in the distance? Can we just jump? No, Sarah, we can't. Unless you want to break your legs. Let's be realistic. Most logical solution is to wait for somebody to pass by. So since we have some time to spare, let's play a game, shall we? I want to see if you've changed since the last time I saw you. God, what happened to me? I feel like a babysitter. Anyway, close your eyes. And don't you dare open them or I'll punch you in the face. You're in a bar. And it's late, and it's raining outside. The atmosphere is wistful, but at the same time relaxing. There are people around. Everyone seems accompanied by friends. Everyone but you. You're alone. You don't know why you were there. You're not the type to go drinking at night. But actually, you do know why. You want someone to notice you. You want to be approached so you can make friends. But time passes and nothing seems to happen. At some point, you notice someone with a shirt from your favorite anime. Approach them. It's the perfect opportunity, you say to yourself. We share an interest. It can't go wrong. With some hesitation, you find the strength to go talk to them. Compliment the shirt and ask them what they think of the anime in question. First, they seem confused. Then they burst out laughing. Sorry, you don't know the anime, they say. Somebody found a shirt in a shop and bought it. You blush and apologize. After that, you look around, hoping no one saw what happened. You see someone laughing. You assume it's because of you. You feel embarrassed. You quickly proceed to pay for your drink and go home. Sorry, you can open your eyes. Now answer honestly. Do you regret your decision? No. Sarah, tell me something. This shouldn't be this should be an important day for you. So why are you here? I don't understand you. Listen, you can do what you want, but at least stop requesting my rides. You think I don't care that you want to crash into a wall? I know that you're dumb. Uh, you can't keep doing that to yourself. Shut up. Hey, what did I expect? At least I tried. All right, then let's go back. I will drive you to hell if that's what you want. I lied. We never needed the gas. I just wanted to spend time with you outside of that stupid car. Taxi driver leaves. All right. Come on, kid. Move your ass. I'm sorry, I can't do this anymore. I quit. Key fragment two received. Wild. Ooh. Princess, it's a tragedy. The ones I care about. I can't see them anymore. There's fog on their island. I'm worried. I don't know if they're okay. They don't even answer my calls. And that's weird because they're supposed to be connected. I want to go there and to the island and see what's going on. Right now, the idea of getting close to them makes me feel uncomfortable. Don't get me wrong, I really care about them. I'm just ashamed I haven't visited them for a long time. Damn it, why did I walk away from them in the first place? Why did I separate my island all those years ago? I was trying to find a solution. But what can I do? Right now, the only thing I can think of is I know what's happening behind that fog. I mean, maybe they're fine. They might be worried too, actually. 
I can easily picture them arguing over something stupid. Maybe they're too distracted, which is why they aren't answering my calls. Perhaps more likely, the connection is broken because of a malfunction. However, there's one possibility that scares me the most. I don't want to sound negative, but they could be dead. The more I think about it, the more it makes sense to me. Has the time really come? Will I no longer be able to see them anymore? Have I lost my chance to tell them how much I love them? Please let me be wrong. I need more time. If they're alive, I promise to visit them. So please, just this once. What do you think? I'm sure they're fine? They could be in danger? They could be. I see you think, think so too, then. As I said before, I don't have the courage to go near them. If I want to find out what happened, my only option is to wait for the fog to disappear. It's hard, but I'll wait. By the way, something just occurred to me. Sarah, do you really have time to worry about me? You shouldn't be here today. You know it well. Please hurry up and leave before it's too late. I'll give you my key fragment, collect all six, and use them to open the white door. I really hope you succeed. Well, there's another one. Can I talk to her? Is it time now? Hey, I know why you're here. Don't worry, there's no rush. Come to your mind. Take a deep breath. Listen to the sound of the waves. Give me the last key fragment. Sure, if that's what you want. But first, let me ask you something. Did you collect all these fragments for a reason? At some point, you started to assume that the only way to move forward was to find them all. But you, but did you really have a choice? You couldn't do anything else but this, right? You should be free to think for yourself, Sarah. I mean, I get it. You want to get out of here. But do you want to do it, or do you have to do it? If you stay here, you'll be safe. You will no longer have any rush or responsibility. The only thing you will have to deal with is guilt. At some point, that will go away, too. I speak from personal experience, of course. See that clock in the distance? It used to bother me a lot. I couldn't stand it. One day, it suddenly stopped working. Since then, the more I look at it, the more I smile. You know, they told you many times that you shouldn't be here. In my opinion, this is the right place for you. you so you should be here. What do you think lies behind that door anyway? Your flawless first day of work? Don't make me laugh. Here, take it. Do what you want with it. However, if I with you, I just stay here and enjoy the view. Door unlocked. Uh... Okay. Wait, what happened? Something must have gone wrong. Please try again. This time it's going to work, I'm sure of it. Door unlocked. Oh! Aha! Uh -huh. Don't you get it? You're stuck here, Sarah. Did you really think it would be that easy? I'm sorry, but there's no way out. You'll be trapped here until you die. Except the truth. You're not strong enough to leave. And guess who warned you about this? It's always the same story. Every time you think you've taken a step forward, realize you are actually on a treadmill. So why do you insist? Wouldn't it be easier if you just gave up? Right now, you're only hurting yourself. You should have listened to me. But if you're still convinced that you can leave, please go ahead. Maybe next time we'll be the lucky one. Well, at least it started changing. Why are you standing still? Do something. Do something. Do something! Happy birthday. Congratulations for wasting another year. I'm not going to lie. In the end, I turned off the light. However, 
You told me that you preferred happiness to stability. I breathed a sigh of relief. You don't want to give up. That's clear to me now. And I don't want to do it either. So I'll try to do my best. Door unlocked. Okay, are we going to go through all of them? And if we did the right thing, we get to leave? I'm not your taxi driver anymore, but we actually have some unfinished business, right? Didn't I tell you if you passed my test? The answer is yes. The flying colors. You know, maybe you're not that bad. Go ahead and sis. Ah, I know you can do it. Door unlock. Hey boss, you won't believe what I'm about to say. I followed your advice. I improved the prototype. I've come up with some interesting ideas. I'm having a lot of fun implementing them. I'm curious to see how people are going to react. Loverly. I would tell you to bow, but I don't even have my crown anymore. My followers have abandoned me. The reason, well, there's nothing left for them to take, as you can see. I was obsessed, now I understand. Why didn't you try to warn me? No, I can't take this responsibility away by blaming you. It was my fault. But I don't know what to do now. All I have left are the bones. Will I be able to recover? Door unlocked. In the end, I was overthinking as usual. The fog is gone and they're fine. Sometimes I wonder why I'm always so negative. You were worried too, if I remember correctly. I said I would go visit them, but I'm am I really ready? You're persistent. All right, then. The elevator. You took the elevator to go to work, right? But then you ended up here instead. Hmm. Actually, that's not what really happened, is it? Sure, you pressed the button, but when the elevator arrived, you hesitated. You actually didn't take it. Instead, you decided to turn your back. So as much as you don't want to admit it, you already know how to leave this place. I wanted to give you the freedom to choose, remember? So, you want to stay here, open my door. Otherwise, you want to leave, finally start your work day, take the elevator. I'm not your enemy. I just want the best for you. You already know my opinion, and yet... I saw how you acted here, and I must say, you seem to be quite determined to get back on your feet. Whatever you decide, will be. I trust you. It's time to choose. I can do that. Or elevator. What do elevator? Everyone, nice to meet you. See, not super long. But there's a way to get the achievements, and I have looked at the achievement guide. But I'm not going to make you sit here through that with me, especially because I have to go through and beat that game with, uh, huh. It's actually pretty cool. So, I don't want to make y'all watch me do all of the achievement hunting for this. You already have to do that with Lake of Voices. I'm not going to do that to you with more than one game. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, remember to hit like. That way I know you're enjoying the content I'm making. Remember to subscribe. That way YouTube brings you back here to see what happens next. And I won't take up any more of your time. I hope you have a good day. I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.